in this video we are going to discuss about diagonalization language and universal languages first let us see about diagonalization languages the languages that is not accepted by turing machine is called as diagonalization language we know that the language that is accepted by turing machine is called as recursively enumerable language or recursive enumerable language whereas the language that is not accepted by turing machine is called as diagonalization language so we can say that diagonalization languages are non recursively enumerable languages why because those languages are not accepted by the turing machine so that is the second point it means so that means diagonalization languages means it means diagonalization languages are non recursively enumerable languages so recursively enumerable languages or recursive enumerable language means that language is accepted by the turing machine whereas if the language is not accepted by the turing machine we can call that language as diagonalization language so diagonalization language is nothing but it is not a recursively enumerable language non recursively enumerable language so next point diagonalization language is denoted by ld so ld means diagonalization language the diagonalization language ld is the set of strings of w so w means word so word is nothing but a string where w is not in l of mi so l means <coughs> that language doesn't belongs to the corresponding mission so l of mi means l is the language so mi means the turing mission so that is the point l is equal to ld equal to that means diagonalization language is equal to wi so wi means it is a set of strings where wi doesn't belongs to where wi is not in l of mi why because diagonalization language means that language is not accepted by the turing machine so that means that word that string doesn't belongs to the language that is generated by the turing machine so that is about what is diagonalization language now let's see about the second topic that is universal language so these two topics are two different topics okay so are not under the same topic so these two are different topics uh, but uh, but uh, each topic occupies only limited uh, time only so that's why in this video i am explaining uh, both the topics simultaneously so universal language the universal language lu so the universal language is represented by lu universal language <coughs> can be accepted by the turing machine but is still undecidable so universal language means that language is accepted by the turing machine so turing machine accepts recursively enumerable languages so likewise the turing machine can also accept universal language but it is still undecidable so that means for some of the problems it is not possible to write the algorithm or it is not possible to implement the turing machine program recursively uh, universal languages lu is recursively enumerable language why because universal universal language means <coughs> that language is accepted by the turing machine so that's why we can say that universal language lu is recursively enumerable language but it is not a recursive language so next point first let's see the definition lu equal to <coughs> we can denote here with the help of m comma w m comma w where w is encoding of the where m is encoding of the turing machine so in order to Uh, encode the turing machine we are using m so that means the information of the turing machine is represented with the help of some encodings and w is nothing but input string that is accepted by the 
during vision. So now let us see the explanation. <coughs> the universal language LU is the set of binary strings that consists of encoded pairs M comma W. So universal language means it contains a collection of pairs called M comma W where M means it is encoded in the Turing machine such that M is an encoding of the Turing machine. So the information of the Turing machine will be denoted in some encoding format. So that is nothing but M. So M is encoding of the Turing machine and W is an input string that is accepted by the Turing machine. So here the point is universal language means it is a collection of binary strings such as M comma W where M is an encoding of the Turing machine whereas W is the string that is accepted by the Turing machine. <coughs> so this is about what is diagonalization and what is universal language. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.